Oh man, I tell you what, I am really stoked to see a beautiful day. We have had nothing but really, really crappy weather here for the last couple of weeks, just rain and just gray and stormy. So to wake up to a beautiful day like today, uh, it's a real lift of the spirits. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, since we're just, uh, sun's starting to finally kind of come up over the hills and we're getting some light down here in the forest, I think I'm gonna just go grab my backpack and uh, the dogs and I think we're gonna go for a walk and see what we can come up in the way of some photography. Well, I finally found a shot that I kind of like. I've got a nice little view of Mount uh, Jefferson through the trees here. Uh, it's kind of framed by some trees and then you got the mountain with the sun on it in the background. Couple things, um, I think the shot would be better if it was a little early in the morning. The sun's getting pretty high in the sky at this point and the lighting on the mountain is not um, super attractive. I think if I got out here just as the sun was starting to kind of peak up over the hills and just hitting it with that nice uh, early morning uh, light, I think it'd be a lot better. So I may try to come back out here tomorrow morning and see what I think of it then. Another thing too, I'd, I only have a 28 to 75 and with the mountain being really far away, I wouldn't mind having something more like a 70 to 200 uh, to try to shoot this. You know, and then I'd put it on a tripod and everything and, and go ahead and try to zoom into the mountain a little bit more and uh, really kind of bring it, you know, deeper into the photo. But, um, you know, I, I've been out here kind of walking around and just, you know, hoping to find some signs of spring. But I, I think, again, you know, we had that late s snowstorm and I know I kind of keep bringing it up from video to video, but it's definitely had a ripple effect. Uh, we, you know, we're sitting almost the end of April, getting ready to go into May, and it's still, uh, none of the trees are really budding up yet. There's no fl uh, wildflowers starting to peak. It just definitely doesn't look like spring yet. So I think we're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer before that starts to all come together. But, uh, you know, it's still, like I said, there's definitely no complaints here. It's still a beautiful day, and the it, sun's coming up, and it's warming up. But um, I'm thinking that since my stomach's starting to grumble a little bit, since we didn't have any breakfast yet, we just had some coffee, I think I'm going to work my way back, start hiking and working my way back to the uh, trailer and uh, see about getting some sausage and eggs cooking. Good stuff. Is that good? All right. One last piece. There you go. Good doggies. Come here, Wheeler. All right, so it's the middle of the day. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off and go see about doing some scouting around. I wanna see if I can find something in the way of a landscape shot for this evening, but also my firewood uh, is getting kind of slim, so I figured I'd go cut some firewood too. So uh, we're just gonna go cruise around some of the forest roads and see what we can find. 
All right, well, we've been driving around quite a bit today and I've actually already been up to this location and uh, walked the trail that's behind the camera. And I found a composition that I'm interested in shooting. Um, I am a little concerned because when I looked at it earlier today, the skies were a bit clearer and now they're starting to kind of just cloud up a little bit. But I decided I'd come back here uh, for a couple reasons. As A, I want to try to get that shot, but also uh, there's some down trees here like this one here. Um, that I think I can cut up and get the firewood that I need for tonight. So uh, we've got, I think it's about five o'clock. We've got a couple hours until sunset and that's when I'm gonna try to get that shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this tree up, uh, get it split right here on location and then we'll hike back to, uh, hike back to where we wanna shoot our photo. All right, so one of the things I've actually changed up here lately is I was buying just regular uh, non-ethanol fuel and then mix, mixing the fuel for the two-stroke myself. But here, I've recently, I've just been buying uh, these cans of pre-mixed fuel. They're all ready to go. They're already mixed perfectly. Uh, they're non-ethanol, so they're great for small engines. And, you know, it's a little bit more cost, but by the time you figure in, you know, buying the fuel, buying the pre-mix, mixing it all up and everything. It's kind of a wash. And uh, I like the fact that I know uh, that this is you know, a perfect mixture and that there's no, uh, no room for uh, air. Now that's done, let's uh, go grab the cameras and see if we can go get the landscape photo that we wanted. I've gotten myself set up on the shot that I want. The sun is just now starting to kind of drop down behind some of the hills beside me. Um, 
it's still casting nice light on the mountain, so I'm still taking a few shots. I, I was able to get a couple shots in just before that sun went down. So I, I think that's what I'm gonna light because it kind of was lighting some of these trees right in front of me and then also lighting the mountains. I put my polarizer on, um, which is helping cut some of the haze that's between me and the mountains. There are some wispy clouds. It's not as clear as it was before, but in the end, I actually think it's going to really uh, help and add to the photo. So especially with using the polarizer. One thing I am going to do with this shot, or I did do with this shot, I should say, is I stacked the shot because I'm shooting at about f5.6, which is a little bit low for a landscape shot, especially if you want to try to get things, everything from as close to the camera all the way out, as far as away from the camera to be sharp. But um, because there was a little bit of breeze when the uh, sun was out, I went ahead and uh, went down to that lower aperture so I could keep my shutter up a little bit higher. Even at that, I'm down to like 1 80th. Um, so that's a little bit low, but I was, like I said, I'm trying to kind of stop that movement of the wind kind of rustling the, rustling the trees and stuff in front of me. But anyhow, I think it's gonna be a nice shot. I'm pretty excited about it. I feel like the composition is really nice. It just looks really pretty with this, with this uh, late afternoon sun and, and just the way it's hitting the mountains with the mountains covered in snow right now. Um, I think it's just gonna be a really nice shot. So I'm really excited about it and I'm hoping that it's gonna turn out as well as it looks like it is on camera, but you guys will find out here in a minute. Um, I'll have to wait a couple days until I get a chance to edit it. So anyhow, um, I think I'm getting a little bit hungry and I think we're gonna pack up the dogs and get all my camera gear, head out of here and get back to camp and work on getting some dinner for the ne going for the evening. What a great way to end a really fairly perfect day. Um, woke up to beautiful weather, got to spend some time traveling around in the truck, checking out some dirt roads I haven't been on before. Got to do some hiking with the dogs. Uh, got to split wood, which I actually really do enjoy doing. Uh, shot some landscape photography, and now I'm sitting here and enjoying a fire and listening to this little creek flow by. It doesn't. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And uh, yeah, I just couldn't be happier, especially with the way that it seems like the last couple of weeks of just the weather's been so bad and trying to get out and do anything has been real difficult, but man, the day just felt great. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. But anyways, uh, the dogs, they've already conked out. They've had a full day. They're already conked out up in the tent. I think I'm gonna join them not too far here in the future. So I'm gonna, Enjoy a little bit more Pendleton, let this fire burn down, and uh, head off to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're new to my channel, uh, please check out some of the other videos. And if you enjoy them, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys again outside.